do you want to make edits like this? First of all, let me tell you that if you are going to do this style of editing, the clips you choose are very important. In scenes like these examples I showed, the camera angle or the character itself needs to change angle. If you are confused, let's start editing and you will understand better. Huh? Let's place the first clip where the song starts and then right click on the clip to enable time remapping. Put a keyframe at the beginning of the clip, then go to the part of the clip where the camera or character changes angle and put a keyframe there too. Now move the keyframe at the end of the clip to where we marked the song's beat. Select these two keyframes and press F9 to make easy ease. Now if we play the video, we see that the video is not very good because we haven't added the special sauce yet. Select any keyframe and then click on this icon to open the value graph. You may have the speed graph open here. To change this, right click and select value graph. Now set the value graph as you see on the screen. This graph will speed up your clip first, then slow down, then speed it up again. If you want your video to be smoother, don't forget to turn on frame blending. Now let's see how it looks. As you can see, the clip looks so better now. Let's choose another clip. This clip is much better than the others because here both the character and the camera angle change. And since this is a single scene, we can make the transitions between scenes more smoother. After setting the value graphic, do not forget to turn on frame blending, otherwise the video will look like 10 FPS. Since the clip we are currently using consists of a single long scene and has very good angles, I will use three different parts of the clip, and I will start the other clip from where the first clip ends, so it will be a very smooth transition.
As you can see, the transitions between scenes are very good due to the angles in this clip. Now let's use a clip with no angle change and see what the result is. Here, McQueen only talks. Neither he nor the camera's angle changes. So such scenes are not very good in this type of editing. This clip looks really bad when compared to other clips. Anyway, let's continue editing. Now we're gonna just apply the same thing over and over again to all the clips. Enable time remapping and smooth it with value graph. I don't want to bore you, so let's quickly move on to these parts. Time remapping of all scenes is finished. Now let's see how the video looks without any other effects. I will remove this scene from the video before I forget. I didn't like it very much. Now let's look again. It's perfect. Perfect. Everything. Down to the last minute details. It looks really good, even without any effects. So when doing this style of editing, the most important thing is good clips and good time remapping. Now let's apply some effects to add some more sauce to the edit. Press Ctrl plus Alt plus Y to add an adjustment layer to the clip, and press Ctrl plus D to copy it once. Cut the top adjustment layer to two frame and apply shake and flicker effects to the bottom layer. Now copy my settings. Make the amplitude one at the beginning and put a keyframe, then go to the middle of the clip and make it 0.02. Make the flicker amplitude 0.5 at the beginning and 0.1 in the middle. Duplicate the top two frame layer and apply the tint effect. Make both colors black as I showed. Apply tint to the other layer too, but this time click on swap colors and also add radial blur and deep glow. Now copy these effects layers and add them to all other clips. Finally, add a nice CC to your clip. And here is the result. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Ow, wait a minute. I will give you a very important advice. If you do not want to be traumatized, do not forget to save the project by pressing Ctrl plus S.